Hey, this is Colin O'Dwyer coming to you from Spacedead.com with number 26 in a 31-part series of basic music theory. Today we're going to talk about accidentals. Accidentals and the natural. Accidentals in music are the sharp and the flat. Sometimes you'll see double sharps and double flats, but let's just talk about this. Here's a sharp. It looks like a number sign. And the flat looks kind of like the letter B. And this is a natural sign. And here's all this means. We can take it down to the piano. Here's what these black keys are, okay? If I have a C, I'm in the key of C, and we know these are the notes in the key of C, but I want, and I'm writing music, and I want one of the notes to become a sharp all of a sudden. A sharp is half a step up from any note. So if I'm here and I want to do a C sharp, that's a C sharp, okay? If I'm here and I want to do D sharp, that's a D sharp. Now, that's when I'm going up. When I'm coming down a flat, when I want to go down a half step, so here's D, if I want to go down, I go down to D flat. So C sharp, and D flat are actually the same note, which is called, the fancy name is enharmonic. Now, that's sharp and flat. Now, if I'm playing along, and in the music I have sharps or flats going on, but I want to return the note back to the regular C in the key of C, that's when I put a natural sign in front of the note, and that returns it back to the original note. On the guitar, it works the same way. This is a G on a guitar. If I want it to be G sharp, I go up half a step. G, if I want to go down, I go down to G flat. And if I want to return it to G, the regular G, to G natural, I go back to the original note. Now the only time this is a little funny is that in the places where you have, on the piano, you might say, well, what about, what about this funny half step here? Well, what if I want to go E sharp? Well, actually, the enharmonic name for E sharp is F, which is confusing. Meaning, E sharp is actually an F. Same thing. F flat is an E. I'll see you next time.